Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday, guys, day two of our weight loss challenge. So I wanna um, say I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, a couple things, I am going to be getting ready to go to my parents. So we're gonna do a quick get ready with me using my premium BoxyCharm from last month. Yes, I did not get around to it. First of all, BoxyCharm has just been sending the stuff super late. It's like getting later every month. Um, so there's that. So I want to talk about something quite funny. Um, I think so. On Saturday, I did a short of me doing my hair. So my hair is naturally curly. I have to straighten my hair to get it straight, you know, with a straightener. So my hair is naturally curly. So ladies, if you have naturally curly hair, I'm sure there's some of you who watch this that has naturally curly hair. We do not brush our hair. We do not, we brush our hair before we take a shower and after, but when your curls are set, you do not brush your hair. Your hair will be out to here in a big frizz mess. Okay. So, um, in this little shorts, I try to clip it if I can. It's just showing you how I had my hair before and then after. And so, um, YouTube erased this comment, but I felt it necessary that this guy really wanted to get his point across, you know, and here's his comment right here. He felt he, he had to let me know that I'm ugly and, you know, YouTube didn't allow that to be posted, but I will because, you know, he, he, he is my judge and jury. Okay. He, he should get his point across. He wanted to let me know that I'm ugly and let's look at him guys. He, Listen, it's a little heartbreaking because I'm currently single. So, I mean, this is like one less person on earth that I can't be with. Because, I mean, he's a freaking Adonis. I mean, look at him. Oh, God. It's it's really hurtful. I mean, he should be my judge and jury. His beauty standards... Listen, I need to, I need to look at these beauty standards that he has because he knows what's going on. Look at the fucking hat. Oh, he's one good-looking guy. The glasses, come on. You know, and YouTube should be, allow these things to be posted. I need to be told these things about myself because this man, like I said, he's an Adonis. He's fine. I'd have to wait in line for someone like this. I mean, yeah, it's heartbreaking, but you know, that's the cookie that crumbles when you're an ugly bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's what happens. So anyway, let's move forward. Actually, let's put him in our jar of who gives a fuck. Let's drop him in. Oh, he's in there. <laughs> so we'll save him for another day. But yeah, I felt like the need, I had to let that out because you know what? I'm heartbroken. He's a, he's a heartthrob and one less sexy man that on earth that I won't be able to be with. <laughs> what are you going to do? You know, anyhow, let's move forward. Um, while we open um, and unbox this box, I have a couple other things to talk about, guys. This is the BoxyCharm Premium. And in this box, like, this is one of my favorite boxes they've ever given. It is the whole Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills box. Everything is made by her or this company, in, you know, in general. This is the little flyer. I'm going to take this out first because this is quite heavy. But look how they packaged it. So pretty. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Kaya. I will put her channel below. It's Kaya Simon's Life. She recently had a run in with Jennifer as well, my arch enemy Jennifer. She recently had a run in with her as well, similar to what happened to me. And she actually did a video posting about it, how our similarities of what happened um, recently with Jennifer, uh, the love of life. She um, lot, does a lot of videos like I do. She likes makeup. She likes to talk, you know, talk about things. And she's a really cool person. I would um, suggest you go ahead and check her out. I personally started watching her videos and enjoy them. So I'll go ahead and link that below. But guys, so she had, you know, a run in with Jennifer as well. And Jennifer recently posted her, well, she re, re released. Um, she got to get those views in. So she re, re released her exercise video. And it's great to see because everyone's giving her such beautiful compliments of how she's trying and she's doing so well with her exercising. Mind you, this was a year and a half ago. So this is not recent. I don't know if people didn't hear her say when it was from, but they are telling her you are doing wonderful. It's on her enablers who are telling her you are doing great. You can have that pie if you do that fupa jump. So here's a little clip of her working out that body, baby. She's jumping that fupa and you know what it is. I think it's bedroom activity probably for her feeders. And the fact that Jean would probably allow this is pretty sad. Hey girl, get it where you can. You know what? If it makes you that money and you feel like that's something you need to do is sit on camera, letting your fupa jump around, go for it. Because those feeders are, I'm sure, paying for that kind of action. Now let's get into more serious stuff because I do have to get ready. Um, Here is the Nervina Pro Pigment Palette, volume three. This is going for $60. Is this the palette? Yes, it is. Here is the palette, guys. We'll get into bigger and better things with our makeup. 
that we love. This is super heavy. It actually was in this, and then it's in another thing here. It's like a tin. Do you hear that? Let's open it up. I mean, look at this, you guys. This is well worth this box. I'm sorry. Just this palette alone is beautiful. I love these colors. We're going to be using this today. I don't even know what I'm wearing, but we're just going to work out these colors. Let's get this off to the side. $60 for that palette, you guys. Next up, Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. Okay, so that's this. I believe this was my choice. And you know what? Honestly, I probably would not have picked this because it is white. And I don't know. I feel like it's going to make my face. It's supposed to be like a clear. Let's try it out right now. Guys, this one's going for $38. Let's open it and see what's up. I just want to see if it's going to... See it on there? This isn't baking powder. This is setting powder. So, I mean, yeah, it didn't make me look pale is the word. I don't want to look pale. So, it's translucent is my point. Okay, so $38. Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter. Mm, I'm excited for highlighter. Who doesn't like a nice highlighter, right? Oh, the packaging is so beautiful. This, I, I'm sorry, but this is one of my favorite boxes I've gotten, honestly. We're going to use this today, so it just comes with a little lid on it. It's just telling you how to how to use it. I don't know if directions are necessary, but I suppose for some people. I mean, I can't get the sticker off. I know that. They should have made that a little easier. Okay, so this loose powder, loose highlighter is $25, guys. All right. Oh, my God. They really make this secure. Like, you can't get your nail in there. And I have, like, longer nails. Okay, so let's keep it moving. Um, tinted eye gel, eyebrow gel, which I never use this stuff. I'm going to see if maybe my mom wants it. Let's look at that. Really cute. All right, we're using this today, so. Okay, next up is the eyebrow gel. This is not it. Yep, tinted brow gel. This is going for $22, guys. Here is the, the box. And my color is chocolate which would probably match. Just comes with a spoolie brow gel. I don't use this. If anything, I will keep this. It's brand new. I will use this for like a giveaway or something. I don't think my mom would use that either. I'll put this off to the side. If I ever do a giveaway, I can definitely put that in there if somebody wants it. Next, uh, Beverly Hills Lip Lic Li Liquid Lipstick. This is going to be Heather's, it's called. And here's the color. So we can try this out today. Like I said, I don't want... There's directions in here? You've got to be kidding me. What are they saying? They're just... Okay, well, they're giving the ingredients and stuff. Wow, they're saying caution and warning. Discontinue of signs of irritation and rash appear. Well, I've never gotten that on a lippy, but good to know. That is going for $20, all right? And then last but not least is the False Lashes Snassy which we're not wearing today, but I definitely like, and that is going for $12. So I don't wear lashes, like I'm just doing regular stuff. <sighs> lashes go on when I'm going out, which I've not been out for a minute, guys. My friend came over Saturday, that was fun. We had drinks. We actually drank an, an entire bottle of Southern Comfort. Um, Southern Comfort orange cream sickle. She had gotten me that bottle for my birthday when I went down to Ocean City, and we just never drank it. So I we drank the entire bottle. So yesterday I was really hungover. It was not a good look. Let's keep it moving. So let's start with this uh, palette here. Get this plastic off. Oh, guys, I hope you're having a great day. Today's Monday already. This week is flying. Oh, I want to thank all my new subscribers, guys. Thanks for coming with me and hanging out and checking out my channel. I love you guys. Let's go ahead with C4. Kind of like a, I don't even know, like a brown purple color. We're just going to work this in. So I'm watching this new show, guys, on Netflix. It's called Outer Banks, I believe. Listen, you should, it's really good. I'm quite surprised, really. You know, um, you know, if you're an 80s baby, you have to realize like what Goonies is. And the movie The Goonies is one of my absolute favorite movies. It kind of reminds me of that. 
in a sense, you know, this is a series. It's a two part or two season series so far. I'm still on season one, like episode nine, but it's well worth the, the watch. So if anyone's looking for something on Netflix, check that out. Um, it's funny because the characters, you know, on the show are only supposed to be like 16. And I'm telling you, these, these are grown adults. They're cute too. The, the one guy looks really good, but listen, he is not no, he's not no kid. He's, I bet you he's at least 27, 28. They could have picked, well, I guess, I don't know. They could have picked, uh, people who maybe fit the part of looking younger. I don't know how to explain it. You'd have to look. Okay, guys, we're just going to start with that. Um, let's do, let's get it a little bit darker. Like I said, I'm just going to my parents' house. Nothing fancy. I don't have to get even ready if I didn't want to, but I figured let's let's break into this box and see what's going on. I also still have my base boxy charm box that we have to look at, but it's a whole other day. Brownish color. The one on my eyelid now, oh yeah, it looks nice. Uh, the one on my eyelid now is more like a wine color, like a purple. You could definitely pull this off as wearing like a, a purple purple color. So I just did both sides the same. Um, I just, I stopped filming because you know what? My phone is um, definitely like holding a lot of space. So if it's just like the same concept, I just shut it off for a minute. Anyway, earlier I was talking about beauty standards. Okay. And I did want to touch up on something. I don't know if you guys watch the Darcy and Stacy show, but I do really like their show and I like watching them. They're the twins. Um, but I did want to show you guys a picture. I just feel so bad because I honestly, they're getting so much heat for doing this surgeries, which I don't agree with what they did. They look absolutely insane if you ask me. But the thing is, beauty standards nowadays is there's so much pressure on looking a certain way that they literally fuck their face up to appease the crowd, we'll call it. And they're still being made fun of, which is terrible because before I thought they were good looking girls. Women, I'm sorry, women. They're older than me. So I'm going to go ahead and just post what they looked like before, okay, and what they look like now. They kind of look like the guy who did all that stuff to his face to make him look like a tiger or, or whatever. They look nuts. And the, the funny part is, well, not funny, actually, it's sad. C1. The sad part is um, they're still using filters on their pictures. So in my mind, I'm thinking... You just spent all that money to get surgery, all right, you know, probably to stop using the filters and look what happens. Now you are looking crazy and you still have to use filters and people are going hard. You know, I feel bad. They're going hard on them, calling them all types of names, telling them why did you ruin your face, blah, blah, blah. And there's no going back now. What are they going to do? It's kind of like little Kim. You know, if you guys, oh my God, I love Little Kim. I loved her since I was a kid. You know, I love hip hop. That's my favorite genre of music. And I thought she was fine. You know, good looking before she was fine. Her face was fine. She was natural. She looks crazy now. She looks like, I don't know how to even explain it. Like they fucked her up. And you would think these sur surgeons um, would tell these women, listen, we're, we're not doing any more work on you. You don't need it. Or, you know, I'm sorry, but they're just money hungry. Like, honestly, guys, if if you were a surgeon and you seen that coming at you asking for more, wouldn't you just say, listen, I don't need the money. Just we're not doing any more for you. That's it. But no. They're thirsty for money. It's it's terrible what they do to people. So um, hold on. What is doing next? Oh, I want to get a highlight. Um, so, yeah, so they look crazy. And it's a shame because they really seem like nice people. I mean, it can be annoying. I do watch the show. But check that out. You'll see what I mean. So I'm just going to go in with some highlight. This is Cab Cosmetics. I want to blend this out here. Okay, loose highlighter. So this is called Peach Fizz. And that, that's going to work fine because we're kind of doing like a peachy look here. Yeah, I said this several several times, but I have to I have to clean my ooh, that's pretty. I have to clean my brushes because they need it. Which maybe we can do that one day. I'm gonna show you the cleaner I use because it is bomb. It's a little expensive. It's like forty dollars, but it's hell it's really worth it. Alright, we're gonna go in and fill in our brows. 
but you know men get criticized too especially if they're like you know losing hair or gaining weight and stuff some men get criticized but i'm telling you some men are the judge and jury of women's beauty standards so much to make women go and get these fucking weird ass surgeries and blow their lips up to where they look like a fucking blow up doll and they look crazy that's what they're causing women to do but i mean you know you have to have some kind of self-respect at some point as a woman to know who gives a fuck what they think anyway not i'm just not talking about men i'm talking about people who gives a fuck what they think you know Everybody has an opinion. Doesn't mean it's correct. So, just saying, guys, I gotta hurry up here because I have literally 15% left on my, my phone. And, um, I gotta go anyway. So, let's go ahead and wrap this up with this lip color. Guys, here's the final look. I used all the stuff in my pre uh, premium box. That was, I'm not gonna use the lashes, obviously. I just gotta get some, um, mascara on. quickly but let's check out this lip color and we're good to go oh what a nice color very vampire like Hey guys, so this is the final look I got to go. So I'm gonna quickly just tell you about this lip color and I'm out. So this color is beautiful, I love it. It's more of a, a warm tone for like, you know, fall and stuff, but I'm gonna rock it now because that's what the deal was. I had to wear use the box, okay? Use the stuff in the box. It is a color stay, but it does come off a little bit, so be careful. I mean, it doesn't seem to like be on my teeth or anything, which is a plus, but um, I think it's a good deal. Anyway, one more thing before I go. Today's animal print day for me, and I'm wearing some pants from Sheen that have a little bit of cheetah going on and then my headband. But I want to show you this sweatshirt, this hoodie. This is Arm the Animals, you guys. Um, if you can please, if you are an animal lover and you love to help out animals in distress or whatever you want to call it, uh, homeless animals, things like that, check out this company, Arm the Animals. It is a cat holding an AK-47 um, against animal abuse and things like that. They are helpful for animals and I am an advocate of that. Um, check out their website. They have hats, stickers, shirts. I have another t-shirt. Uh, it was a tank top. It was a little small. Be careful with sizing because the sizing is a little off. I did give that to my mom, but this sweatshirt, um, I think is a one X. So, okay guys, I hope you have a great day. We will talk later. I'll insert a little picture of my pants that go with my animal top. Um, but yeah, is this not the cutest? Okay, guys, love you. Talk to you soon. So I was like, hey, boo, you looking sexy with that cowboy hat and those glasses, honey. And he said, no, boo, you ugly.